So, I've had an idea for a song and I have a funny feeling it's going to be a little bit more interesting this time. Unfortunately, recently I have actually lost a family member and I don't want to go into the details of that too much, but it has been quite a difficult time for me and my family. So I want to write a song about family, about the things that bring us together. Along with all the sadness and the grief, there's been a lot of nostalgia and a lot of happiness and a lot of coming together to sort things out. And and I really want to explore those values. I want to explore not just what they mean to me, but what they mean to a lot of people, like in TV and film and literature. And yeah, that's what I want this song to be about. Pigeon, my toe hurts, Betty. My toe. Oh, they always stop, yeah. <laughs> they always stop at the my. That's really? The last one, yeah. It's actually not my toe hurts, Betty. It's toe hurts, Betty, my. All right. <laughs> right, okay, yeah, I can, I can get that. Do you often communicate with them? It's always the same. That's so My bizarre. My toe hurts, Betty. It's a wood pigeon. Cool. My toe hurts, Betty. Except if you notice, they start on, on the toe. toe. Toe hurts, Betty. Betty. My. It's my granddad that taught me that. Is it? Yeah. Which one? Dad's. Dad. Yeah. Okay. I always refer to him as Grandad. Grandad. Yeah. Vor yeah. is the other one. It's Portuguese for Grandad. That's quite interesting because obviously we've just always gone by Grandma and Grandad. There's been, never been a Nan. There's never been a. Yeah, we've got Nan, nan. and Grandad. Yeah. And grandma and Vor. Interesting. So they've so all got their there's own. There's no ambiguity. Yeah, fair. And not only that, but everyone in our family goes by their name. That's true. You know. That's quite interesting, isn't it? How different that is. Yeah. There's no universal view, no, no universal way of life. What What's different? the one thing about us as a family that really threw you off? And God, why did they do that? Yeah. Well, you see. Actually, no. We we do see. I think you you see everyone a lot more because you all live very close in to or each close place. to Doncaster. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Because yeah. obviously, I've got family in Canada. I had family in Brazil and Portugal. That is quite a... And yeah. obviously we live different towns to... I don't think any people in my family live in the same towns as each other. There's one who looks a lot like you, isn't there? Or is, no, it's no, your No, that's mom. my uncle. That's her brother. oldest brother. He does look a lot like you. It's quite yes, funny. he does. It is quite funny. Isn't that weird how that happens? Yeah, it's weird for my dad because they were mates at school. Ah. So his son looks like his mate from school. Oh yeah. But kind of like in the kind of in the right way. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, it's not like he's an external person, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well it's like if Liv and I have kids and they end up looking like you, it yeah. will be the same yeah, weirdness exactly. for me. I suppose like looking like, my kids look like Jeff. They look like Jonna. <laughs> Although actually, they will. And John do what they <laughs> keep doing. So the title of the song, I think, is going to be something along the lines of "thicker than water," as in, like you know, blood is thicker than water. And I know it's a bit of a cliche, but I think it's something I can work with. I think there are a lot of songs with similar titles that have a sort of similar theme, but I'm going to try and approach it in a slightly different way. I don't quite know what way that is yet, but there is going to be a different approach. I think the style I'm going to go with is traditional folk, and I know that sounds really weird considering what all my songs have been like so far this year, uh, just adding something else to the, the list of genres I guess, but it feels appropriate and I haven't really written anything like that before but I like traditional folk music and you know I like the idea of it being able to be sort of sung by anyone, um, which is kind of like a family aspect in itself isn't it, so yeah I'm going to have a go at doing that.
So, I've already ordered some things from Amazon this morning to help the song along. I figured, seeing as it's a folk song, that I would order a set of folk instruments of some description. So I originally thought I was going to buy a penny whistle, and I can't play the penny whistle. Uh, I thought I could just sort of learn to play a few notes, maybe come up with a nice little melody. But I got a lot of suggested adverts for ocarinas, um, which is not a huge surprise considering how much of a Zelda fan I am. So I bought like an Ocarina of Time replica, hopefully that'll arrive tomorrow. I've also bought a tambourine, which is exciting, never had one of those before. And I've also bought a kazoo, which might seem like a bit of a joke, but I think actually I can do something quite clever with that. But yeah, interesting to just add to the palette of instruments to use for the song. I've also got some fantastic new strings for my acoustic guitar, and I'm going to put those on this afternoon, so that that's all sort of fresh sounding and crisp. And that's going to be the basis, I think, of the whole song. That's going to be the, the sound palette, if you like. In terms of progression with the song itself, I'm also going to use the typewriter to write a letter with all the content of the song. I know I've done this before, but I'm going to use the typewriter this time just because it's, you know, it's just a little bit more hipster, really, isn't it? Also, it's really satisfying to type on. At the moment, I just tend to use it to write down what we're going to order for, like, a takeaway. So this will be quite a creative use of it, I guess. Ooh, this looks productive. Hello! Yes. Bit of maths. My maths. What are you doing? I'm, I'm doing numerical analysis. Oof. Tuesday, everyone. Yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday. What about you? You look productive. What are you doing? I'm um, making mind maps of all the things I'm going to do. So this one I'm going to do, doing one for the garden. Oh, yeah. Summer is coming. Meanwhile, someone's enjoying sunbathing, aren't you? Absolutely zero productivity happening here. We seem a lot further away than that. It's time to make a spag ball. <laughs> <laughs> a spig ball. I'm not going to show you how I do this, but um, this is a crucial part of my day today. So not every day. Not every day. And what are you making, Liz? Um, gluten-free scones. Gluten-free scones. Am I following a recipe? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Buy ingredients online, is that one of the instructions? <laughs> yeah. It won't work unless you do that. Oh, I meant to sift the flour, didn't do that. Put matter before. Put in the butter. Oh, not done that either. Not even added. Oh, I've just not done any of this. There's so little point in me cutting this onion, it's the tiniest thing in the world. Are you trying it yet? Uh, not yet. Well, that'd be great, wouldn't it? It's really weird because normally when I'm cooking, I talk to myself about what I'm doing. But the one time I've got a camera on me, I don't turn into like a celebrity chef. <clears throat> Which celebrity chef do you do though? Um, that's obvious, Gary Rhodes. I don't know Really? We've got a set of his knives. I mean, obviously not, they're not like his. We borrowed them. <laughs> oh, oh, what's that behind your ear? Oh, oh, it's a wooden spoon. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's it in the eyes. Yeah. That's the one. Oh. Oh. It's too overwhelmed just now. Tears. Tears of an onion. That sounds like they're coming from the onion there. I cried the tears of an onion. Why is there an egg on a plate there? I don't know. That's what it's... I think the secret ingredient for a good spag ball is banter. Oh. What are you going to say, love? I said love. Oh, okay, maybe it's love and banter. Maybe there are two secret ingredients. Probably and sometimes we get those ingredients from family. <laughs> It's 
like when you're creating a song, you know, create your, create your food. <laughs> you know, it's all about patience and bacon. Really nice. Those ones. Look at them. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Not, I mean, they're all a bit wonky size, but I didn't know they were very precise. Tim, you're enjoying a meal. Do you think it's uh, you think it's rare that we all get to enjoy the same thing in this family? None of us are eating the same thing. No. Really? Anything to add to that? Well, I've got a ham, and Tim hasn't got ham. So even if you think we've got similar meals, you're not. <laughs> That's I it. Had two olives as well. Yeah, right. Poor Dave only had one. Oh, I love olives. Yes. Well, I'm afraid <laughs> there are none. That's all right. I can live with that. That went over your head, that didn't it? Don't worry. It's fine. Yes. Yeah. I'm afraid it did. What's the one meal do you think that we all can eat the same? What's the one thing? Uh... Well, we can't even have spag ball together, can we? Because mum's a veggie. Yeah. Is there anything that we all enjoy? Do we all enjoy Greek salads? Cheese snacks. Yeah. We all are a big cheese family actually, aren't we, to be fair. Yeah. What do you think, Dad? Is there like something immediately that comes to mind that I'm, so I'm struggling to think of anything that we could all eat. Greek salad, I think. So we, is that what we're gonna have for every meal yeah. now? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite fruit? Uh, fruit. Yeah. Easiest to eat banana. Okay. Easiest to just like get out because you don't get juice on your hands like you do with an apple. Okay. Clearly, been eating um, apples quite differently to me then. Huh? I never tend to get apple juice on my hands. Do you not? No. Does a bite not kind of. No. I've never. If anything, I've really struggled to get juice out of an apple generally, actually. I see. Maybe yeah. we eat different kinds of apples. Maybe we do. Maybe that's the uh, answer to that question. What kind of apples do you frequent? Um. I like jazz apples. Jazz apples? Mm. I don't know what those are. It's a variety, isn't it? Oh, I thought you were making a joke. Oh no, they're real. What's your favourite pie filling? Steak. Okay, fair enough. Unless it's steak and steak. Yeah, fair enough, I really like that. Have you been to the Pie Minister? Yes, I have. Um, right, it's... Um, Sweeney Todd time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. Now you'll be pleased to know that I do this to myself. Have you ever been to the unfinished room at the National Gallery? No. Where it's just all like paintings that people were halfway through? Or... Oh, I like that. It's really good actually. I find that moon room, I find that moon, I find that room the most interesting in the whole gallery, actually. Because there's so many things that I haven't finished. And think you know they're still good ideas you know but they're just not not be finished you know? I feel like most of my life is good ideas that I never actually finish like honestly the number of projects I've started and got you know done almost nothing mm. about and then never finished is is huge you are only like 21 you know but it feels like I should be doing more in fact you're not even only like 21 you are 21 or I'm gonna wash it all off and See. Cool. There we are. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad for a uh, first attempt, I don't think. No. Lovely. Your first shave ever. <laughs> but yeah, the first time I've ever shaved in my entire life. So at the moment I'm just waiting for the Amazon order to arrive so I can crack on. Last night I was sat at the piano working out a few little melody ideas and I have a general idea of what sort of thing I want to go for. But with it being like a folk song it needs to sort of repeat, uh, be the same sort of thing. Maybe three or four verses with a bit of a refrain, something like that. But I think I'm going to write it at the piano and then translate it to the other instruments. That way I can write something complex and then simplify it later on. I do actually prefer doing that sort of thing with this genre. But yes. Just waiting for the things to arrive, and hopefully, I can start teaching myself to play the ocarina. <sighs> the things I do for music. That house, there is. 
few many different houses got the It's deceptive, it goes really far back. How do you know that? I'm sitting on Google Maps. John used to deliver a lot of stuff there. <laughs> checking the houses on Google Maps. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Why not? Just make me read you have the time for that specifically. I have been alive for quite a while. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not saying it takes you 27 years to do. I wasn't doing that yesterday. Are you 27? No. no. I was 26, I was adding a year. You know how old I am. <laughs> I don't know how old my Are you 27? Are. Said his sister. I don't know how old my siblings are. Yeah, you do. I mean, I, I vaguely do. 19 and 15. 19 and 15. 1915. It's only because Tim just said you were 27 and it really shook at me. I'm in my 27th year, technically. I'm in my 100th. We were talking about the other day when Grandad tried to take Grandma driving. She, you're right. Why are you so confused? What? What's driving? Who was this? Years ago, he oh, gave yeah. her a driving lesson, and basically she sort of, he said, "All right, go straight over the roundabout." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And what she did is it was like I'd heard that she just went straight over it, but that wasn't the case. What actually happened? is she kind of knew what she was doing but turned the wheel so slowly <laughs> in relation to how fast she was going that she sort of skimmed the side of the roundabout. <laughs> Alright, so the first part of the Amazon order arrived, so I now have my Ocarina of Time, which is fantastic. Um, I have absolutely no idea how to play it. I'm guessing that it involves that, yep. And, uh, yeah, cool. That's what happens when you fill all the holes. That's a C, I guess, somewhere around there. I say around there because it's quite flat, I think. Yeah. Lovely. So, I've got to learn to play that. Uh, I've also got... And the most important, and definitely the most important aspect, is these Mozart chocolates. There he is, the man himself. Wonderful. Um, and these are... <laughs> and these are really the most amazing chocolates. So, I feel like I've got everything I need to start actually writing the music for this song now. my melody actually uh, quite a simple little thing in C major because that's the key that the ocarina is in so I want to keep within those set of notes there actually so it's kind of like a So got the second half of it which is a little bit like a sort of um, uh, or something to tag on the end of a refrain I think Get very close. <laughs>